Let the children come to me. Do not prevent them. For the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you. Today is the feast day of St. Angela Merici, Virgin, the founders of the Ursuline Sisters. It was the first order that was for teaching, especially of poor girls. And so uh, traditionally, uh, Catholic Schools Week would be this week, since they're not able to have a, a gathering or mass. Uh, today's mass will be for our Catholic schools here in our archdiocese, and the teachers, and the principals, and staffs, and, uh, and for the pastors of those parishes with Catholic schools. We ask God's mercy and grace for us as we enter into these sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy and grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May the Virgin St. Angela never fail to commend us to your compassion. O oh Lord, we pray that following the lessons of her charity and prudence, we may hold fast to your teaching and express it in what we do through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Every priest stands daily at his ministry, offering frequently those same sacrifices that can never take away sins. But this one offered one sacrifice for sins and took his seat forever at the right hand of God. Now he waits until his enemies are made his footstool. For by one offering, he has made perfect forever those who are being consecrated. The Holy Spirit also testifies to us for after saying, This is the covenant I will establish with them after those days, says the Lord. I will put my laws in their hearts and I will write them upon their minds. He also says, their sins and their evil doing, I will remember no more. Where there is forgiveness of these, there is no longer offering for sin. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. The Lord said to my Lord, sit at my right hand till I make your enemies your footstool. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. The scepter of your power the Lord will stretch forth from Zion. Rule in the midst of your enemies. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. Yours is princely power in the day of your birth in holy splendor. Before the day star, like the dew, I have begotten you. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. The Lord has sworn, and he will not repent. You are a priest forever according to the order of Melchizedek. You are a priest forever on the line of Melchizedek. The Lord be with you. 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. On another occasion, Jesus began to teach by the sea. A very large crowd gathered around him so that he got into a boat on the sea and sat down. And the whole crowd was beside the sea on land. And he taught them at length in parables. And in the course of his instruction, he said to them, Hear this. A sower went out to sow. And as he sowed, some seed fell on the path, and the birds came and ate it up. Other seed fell on rocky ground where it had little soil. It sprang up at once because the soil was not deep. And when the sun rose, it was scorched, and it withered for lack of roots. Some seed fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it, and it produced no grain. And some seed fell on rich soil and produced fruit. It came up and grew and yielded thirty, sixty, and a hundredfold. He added, whoever has ears to hear ought to hear. And when he was alone, those present, along with the twelve, questioned him about the parables. He answered them, The mystery of the kingdom of God has been granted to you, but to those outside, everything comes in parables, so that they may look and see, but not perceive, and hear and listen, but not understand, in order that they may be not be converted and be forgiven. Jesus said to them, Do you not understand this parable? Then how will you understand any of the parables? The sower sows the word. These are the ones on the path where the word is sown. As soon as they hear, Satan comes at once and takes away the word sown in them. And these are the ones sown on rocky ground who... When they hear the word, receive it at once with joy. But they have no roots. They last only for a time. Then when tribulation or persecution comes because of the word, they quickly fall away. Those sown among thorns are another sort. They are the people who hear the word, but worldly anxiety, the lure of riches, and the craving for other things intrude and choke the word, and it bears no fruit. But those sown on rich soil are the ones who hear the word and accept it and bear fruit thirty and sixty and a hundredfold. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. As I mentioned at the beginning, today's the feast day of St. Angela Merici, and I'd like to read from her spiritual testament, because it's such a beautiful reflection that she wrote uh, regarding education. And as I mentioned, uh, this would be typically the week where Catholic Schools Week would be celebrated. So she's addressing her sisters, the Ursulines. Mothers and sisters most dear to me in Christ, in the first place, strive with all your power and zeal to be open. With the help of God, try to receive such good counsel that, led solely by the love of God and an eagerness to save souls, you may fulfill your charge. Only if the responsibilities committed to you are rooted firmly in this twofold charity will they bear beneficial and saving fruit. As our Savior says, a good tree is not able to produce bad fruit. He says, a good tree, that is, a good heart, as well as a soul inflamed with charity, can do nothing but good and holy works. For this reason, St. Augustine said, love and do what you will. Namely, possess love and charity, and then do what you will. It is as if he had said, Charity is not able to sin. 
I also beg you to be concerned about every one of your daughters. That means the, the children uh, entrusted to their care, their students. Bear them, so to speak, engraved upon your heart, not merely their names, but their conditions and states, whatever they may be. This will not be difficult for you if you embrace them with a living law. Mothers of children, even if they have a thousand, carry each and every one fixed in their hearts. And because of the strength of their love, they do not forget any of them. Now, my mother had six children. And sometimes she would forget our names. Tú como te llamas? Or she, Gilbert, Luella, Lambert, Valerie. Mom, my name is Lambert. In fact, it seems that the more children they have, the more their love and care for each one is increased. Surely those who are mothers in spirit can and must act all the more in the same way because spiritual love is more powerful than the love that comes from a blood relationship. Therefore, mothers most dear to me, if you love those, if you love these, your daughters, with a living and unaffected charity, it will be impossible for you to, for, for you not to have each and every one of them engraved upon your memory and in your mind. I beg you again, strive to draw them by love, modesty, charity, and not by pride and harshness. Be sincerely kind to everyone according to the words of our Lord. Learn of me, for I am meek and humble of heart. Thus you are imitating God, of whom it is said, he has disposed all things pleasantly. And again, Jesus said, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. You also ought to exercise pleasantness toward all, taking great care, especially that what you have commanded may never be done by reason of force. For God has given free will to everyone, and therefore he forces no one but only indicates, calls, persuades. Sometimes, however, something will have to be done with a stronger command, yet in a suitable manner and according to the state and necessities of individuals. But then also we should be impelled only by charity and zeal for souls. I've always loved this reflection uh, this writing of St. Angela to her, her daughters, her spiritual daughters, the Ursuline sisters, and have used it to encourage catechists in their task of forming children and forming souls by leading them to Jesus, and have used it also for uh, in the parishes where I was that had schools of doing reflections with the teachers, of saying, learn from St. Angela how to teach. It's not just the matter of what you teach, but it's also the how of, of doing, as she says, with great charity. A lesson for all of us, because we all teach by our example, and we're all students as well. And we know that we, if we love it, when somebody teaches us with kindness. Let us pray. For the church, which is both mater et magister, mother and teacher, may she teach her children with compassion, gentleness, and great love, to love Jesus, the Son of God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our elected leaders, especially our state legislators in session now in Santa Fe, that divine wisdom may be given to them to do the work that is entrusted to them for the good of the people of the state of New Mexico. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer and for our elected leaders in Washington and Congress, and for our new president, that they too may make wise decisions that are prudent 
filled with justice and help promote the common good for all. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Catholic schools of the Archdiocese of Santa Fe, for the administrations, for the teachers, the students, the parents of the students, the staffs keeping the schools opera operation, operating, that the Lord may bless them, help them in, to learn and fully realize their potential. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all teachers, those in our public schools as well, that soon, uh, following good uh, safety protocols, that the schools may be opened and the students may return to the classrooms and students and teachers be kept safe. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an end to the pandemic, for those who have been sickened by the COVID-19, may they recover their health. For the protection of the doctors and nurses and hospital staffs caring for the sick, we pray to the Lord. And for the swift and effective administration of the vaccine against the coronavirus, we pray to the Lord. And for all who have died, especially those who have died because of the coronavirus, and for those who will die today, and for the thousands more who will die tomorrow and in the near future, may they have a holy death, and may their families quickly be consoled. We pray to the Lord. Loving God, hear our prayers and grant us the gifts of grace that we need to be able to serve you with love and generosity as did St. Angela and her sisters. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the oblation made by your consecrated people in commemoration of Blessed Angela Merici be acceptable to you, we pray, O Lord, and grant that by participation in this mystery we may reflect the pattern of your love through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promised in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and John our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. With a bow, let us offer a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Unless you turn and become like children, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven, says the Lord. Let us pray. May this holy meal give us strength, almighty God, so that by the example of blessed Angela Merici, we may show in our hearts and by our deeds both fraternal charity and the light of truth. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you. May almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.